NASA has officially launched a mission to a moon of Jupiter to find out whether it could support life. For decades, an icy moon of Jupiter, Europa, has been considered one of the most promising places to search for extraterrestrial life in the solar system, thought to have an underground ocean and a potentially habitable environment. The probe being the largest spacecraft ever built for a planetary interplanetary mission. I want to bring in Paul Delaney now. He's a professor emeritus of physics and astronomy with York University. Hello to you, Paul. Good to see you. And to you too, Marcia. Before we talk about this mission, can we just talk about the actual journey itself? It's going to take five and a half years as they cover (laughs) 1.8 billion miles. Wow. Yeah, don't hold your breath. And it's got two gravity assists. It's going to swing by Mars and it's going to come back and swing by Earth all in that time frame. So, yes, it is quite the journey. And as you said, five and a half years. So, yeah, a <laughs> bit, of, bit of a wait time. Oh, yeah, a bit. OK, so talk to us then about the significance of this mission and what well, it is potentially hoping to discover. And we should be really clear, Paul, they're not going to Jupiter. No, they're not going to, well, they are going to Jupiter, but it's the moon of Jupiter Jupiter. that is the primary mission. The spacecraft actually will be orbiting Jupiter in a very, what we call eccentric orbit. It'll swing in every orbit to go past Europa very close uh, for a very brief period of time, and then it's going to swing back out away from the harsh radiation field. So it's, it's a very interesting orbit to keep the spacecraft safe, yet to be able to examine Europa many, many times and to literally bring as much information about this satellite as we possibly can. Why do scientists believe that there could be life, that this could be inhabitable? Well, at this point in time, we've Uh, we're of the view that wherever you find water, you are likely to find life. Certainly on Earth, that is the case. Uh, It doesn't matter whether or not you're in a desert at the bottom of the ocean in Antarctica. As long as there is some measure of water, then life seems to be able to thrive. And NASA has fulfilled the idea of follow the water to look for life all through our solar system. Europa has this huge ice shell, and beneath that ice shell is a warm subsurface ocean, more water, in fact, inside Europa than we have here on Earth. And so the notion is, given that that is warm, it is salty, the ingredients for life we think are there. And so the Europa Clipper is going to search out the habitability factors, looking for the key ingredients that we think will allow life to exist beneath the surface of the ice. This mission had been planned. It had been in the works for years. It was actually delayed last week because of the hurricane, but it it took off today, launched today successfully. Um, What are the challenges that this mission face in the next five and a half years? Well, traveling to the planets in our solar system is never a slam dunk. The launch today from the Falcon Heavy was picture perfect. And so it's on the right trajectory. It's got to successfully maneuver past both of the planets, Mars and Earth, to collect gravity assist. It has to survive, as you said, that five and a half year journey. Lots of things can happen in that period of time. But NASA has a very good track record of launching spacecraft with great longevity. Think of the Voyager spacecraft that were launched in the mid 1970s. They are still communicating with us. The big The biggest challenge will be for the Europa Clipper to survive the radiation environment of Jupiter. It's incredibly harsh. It's very dangerous. It's not easy on spacecraft. Yet, we have to be able to survive that to be able to look carefully at Europa. So lots of challenges. But as I said, NASA's track record is extremely good. Optimism is very high that five and a half years from now, you and I will be talking again about the arrival of Europa Clipper. Well, let's hope so. Paul Delaney, thanks so much. Good to see you today. Cheers.